While many associate the holiday season with Santa Claus, reindeer, and snowmen, throughout the world there exists a variety of interesting historic and cultural traditions. Italy, for instance, celebrates what's known as the Eve of Epiphany on January 5th, where parents leave out broccoli, spiced sausage, and wine for an ugly but kind witch known as Bifana, who delivers various gifts. I've got two people as usual to play a trivia game with questions all about various traditions from this time of year from places around the world. Question one is, um, coal is supposedly something that kids would be given in their stocking if they had been bad over the year. However, in some other countries, there were substitutes for coal. Which out of these items do you think could not have been one of those substitutes? Um, so the options are onions, sticks, stones, and garlic. Oh, that's actually a hard one. Okay, I think onion, onions and garlic. I'm just gonna guess stones because they are also rocks and coal is a rock. <laughs> Which one's the most useless out of those? I feel like maybe, maybe sticks, uh, right? Is that your answer? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'll go with sticks. Question two. Krampus in Central and Eastern Alpine folklore is A, a demon that gives children nightmares, B, a creature that kills and eats children that they catch sneaking around during the holidays, or C, a partner to St. Nick that paddles bad children. Uh, I actually think it's the last one, isn't it? Now, I'm, I'm probably 100% wrong, but I remember it being something stupid. Yeah, final answer, C. I'm gonna guess C, a partner to St. Nick. St. Lucia's Day is on December 13th and marks the beginning of the Christmas season in Scandinavia. It is meant to bring hope and light during the darkest time of the year, but if children were to witness St. Lucia delivering gifts, she would either dump water on their heads or throw ashes in their eyes. Which one do you think is true? Ashes. That seems more related. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is only if they were to witness her, of course. <sighs> I feel like throwing ashes in the eyes is even worse, and it's probably like the worst <laughs> out of the two. So I'm gonna go with dump ashes in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. New Year's resolutions started from various people and religions making promises to their gods at the beginning of every year. One particular group of people in Europe made promises to their god Janus, whom January was named after. Who are these people? And for a hint, their city is in modern day Italy, and they have a saying based off of them. Uh, Rome. If I say Greeks, I'm going to be wrong, but I'm going to say it anyway. Hanukkah is the Jewish holiday commemorating the discovery of Jerusalem and the rededication of the Second Temple, which is the Jewish Holy Temple. A well-known symbol of this holiday is the Hanukkah menorah, a candelabra that each day of Hanukkah gets one extra candle lit. Make your best guess on how many days and nights between 4 and 14 there are of Hanukkah. The same as there are candles on the menorah, not counting the extra candle on top that is used to light the others. It's 8, right? I was not I'm so sorry. I think I got it, but just in case, tell me the whole thing again, I wasn't listening. Oh, it, uh, oh god. I should know this one. Seeing that like half of my family celebrates Hanukkah. Uh... Isn't it, isn't it a full week, like seven? You got every question right except for the New Year's resolutions. The answer was Romans. Oh. The saying based off of them was when in Rome, do, do as the Romans do. Oh. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You said sticks, the answer was stones. You got the Krampus question right. He was a partner to St. Nick that paddled bad children. Um, for St. Lucia's Day, it was throw ashes in their eyes. And for Hanukkah, the answer is eight. Just one more. You know what? I did better than I thought. <laughs> um, unfortunately for you, though, Leo won with one more point. Well, it is what it is, I mm -hmm. suppose. You did good, though. Here, it's mine now. I get the mic. You lost, Zeke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this as a prize. The lowest point of my life. Here, you can have mine. <laughs> Thank you for watching and happy holidays.